Hi guys, hope everybody is doing really well today. Um, today we've got a new Guess the Price, plus some catching up on some of the junk I've bought recently, uh, showing you what I bought and how much I paid, um, plus there'll be a Guess the Price. So there's an array of random items um, on, on here, um, and I've picked them up over the past month or two. I think I'm probably gonna do two, two a couple more tool hauls possibly. But yeah, so, Without further ado, let's get into what I picked up. So I found a new junk shop, which is just near me, selling bits and bobs. Um, and I just um, picked a few items when I went on my travels. This uh, Where's Lewis hat, hat brush, um, nice, five pound. I didn't negotiate the price. We've got this little um, button hook. Um, looks like an, it says the ebony on it, actually. You can see there, ebony. So ebony handle. Nice little detail, two pounds, didn't argue. We got this, uh, looks like um, a repeat uh, little cutter. Probably looks almost like it's for a pizza or something, but I'm, I reckon it's for crafting. Um, I like the blue and I like the fact it had its original packaging, four pound, I didn't negotiate. And we got this little brass, like mock-up trombone. Don't ask me why I bought that. So I paid five, 10, 15 16 pounds total in the junk shop didn't argue just paid the other chap the money he looked pretty quiet to me right we've got an ebay purchase we've got a little brass set of um sort of calipers or measurements or whatever um i just like the shape of them really really cool um almost look, look like a pair of miniature handcuffs for babies but yeah maybe that's not quite right We've got this, the guy described it as brass. I thought, oh, that's really good, but it's not. It's steel, um, is what it is. Um, but it has got a cool date on it, 1926 on the back. But yeah, it's uh, not brass, it's steel, but it does dirty. That's all it is, it's just grime. If I polished it, it'd just become shiny steel, but I won't, I'll leave it like that. But I like it anyway, so it is what it is. I told the seller he was wrong, but I just left it. Just said, don't worry about it. We've got a double headed anvil, um, um, double horned anvil, um, no hardy hole, no pritchet hole, no nothing like that, just uh, two anvils, um, but yeah, um, I've not got a double headed one, so I thought why not, um, I think that was about £13, I think I gave about £11 for that, including the shipping, this one I paid about £18, £19 for, really, really cool. Um, we've got this really cool set of grape vine, French grape vine uh, secateurs, but with the hatch grape vine hatchet for cutting the vines. Uh, never come across these before. Really, really cool. Uh, work great. Um, I think they are possibly French. I'm not sure. French, German, I don't know. But really cool. I paid about £65, a bit of a bidding war on those. But I just thought the design of them was really cool, so I went for those. They actually bid 100, so could have been worse, I guess. We got this really cool pad saw handle. Um, really like this um, this pad saw handle with the um, with the locking mechanism. I'm sure I've got one somewhere. Let me see if I can find it over here. Um, yeah. So I've got one similar, um, but this one's steel. The other one I have is brass, just liked it. So I think maybe it's a similar, this one's got a support on the blade. This one's a bit nicer because it's a bit of brass. But yeah, um, I paid, I think about 13, 13 pounds with the shipping for that. Obviously the brass one I got uh, in person. We've got a really cool, I think, little hammer. This is a Billings and Spencer little hammer it's got a little uh sort of a cat's paw on the end a little claw nail puller i'm not sure what this is for i'm not sure if you put something in it for tapping or if it's for bending you put a piece of sheet metal bending not quite sure um and we've got here a uh, maybe you can put a nail in it and put, I, don't, I don't i don't know what it's for and we've got a little hammer seen some use but billings and spencer you see the B there for Billings and Spencer. So really like that. I paid about £18 including shipping for that. Really cool. We've got this brass level. I like a bit of brass. This one's not ebony. I don't know what wood it is. Um, but nice wood, whatever it is. 
bit of a brass not the highest of qualities not got brass screws got steel screws and stuff but still nice i think i paid about 11 12 pounds for that little guy um, and then the uh the pièce de résistance is this set of utrex uh, multi-tool pliers now i've never seen these before and these are a bit rusty but these are nos these are sharp a very sharp file it's got a file just on the handle it's got a measure across the end with there's the patent number made in england utrex pliers registered we've obviously got the hammer we've obviously got the cutter for the wire we've got the pliers we've got the nail puller um, and we've got the screwdriver um, and the reason why i really like that is because one of my favorite wrenches is the utrex you see here utrex utrex uh, multi-tool wrench so this has got the hammer the nail puller the wrench the glass breaker it's got the tape i don't know if you can see there the tape measure the same as that it's got the file on this side and it's got the screwdriver now these are not common but you can find them but i've never come across the utrex multi-tool a very very cool tool the utrex multi-tool um, it's quite early as well about 90 years old um, you can see here uh, the Utrex uh, multi-tool, uh, there we go, 1933, um, very, very cool, nine and three quarter inches, and it's my Foster's Utrex. So yeah, that was a nice addition, so I was quite pleased with that, um, Not see, and I collect multi-tools, this one needs a little bit of a de-rust, a bit of a wire wheel, and a bit of a paste wax, try and preserve it, but I just love that tool, I think it's really good file feels really sharp i wouldn't really want to have it in my hand but it's a single file it's not a bastard file i think or so it, or it is a bastard file it's a single file but yeah very very nice so that was uh about uh 45 or 46 pounds or 56 can't remember um but really cool so they're a matching pair of utrexes so very very cool um, and then the guess the price on this video is this nos lucas girder in a box three and a quarter inch length very early nos so inside has a nos brand new shiny brand new lucas girder you don't get any newer than blue in than that and um, so i'll pop that back in before i rust it with my greasy dirty fingers um but yeah i paid a lot of money for this but it's kind of very rare um, and I collect miniature gun black finish. Um, and I collect miniature wrenches in boxes. And this one is a dream, is a lovely little guy. So, um, how much did I pay for the Utrecht? I would say the seller was an idiot. And he, he put us, wrapped it in a piece of, like in an envelope. And it got crushed because it was sharp. And it got crushed. Which is annoying, but oh well. Idiots. Oh, and I got, my buddy Matty gave me this little, um, thing so i thought i'd mention it thanks matty for that you're a real generous guy hmm so yeah so we got this really really uh cool little miniature you know squirrel handcuffs and um, but i think my favorite item of all the items is the utrex multi-tool i really like the um the really cool set of secretaires i like the nos um, I, and i really like the little multi-tool hammer as well very very cool indeed right so put in the comments which is your favorite don't forget to have a guess there'll be extra points for this one because it's getting towards the end now so you really want to get your guesses in all right hopefully you enjoyed that take care have a lovely day bye